All right, so today we will talk about uh, Adobe Fonts and how you can use them with Adobe applications. So this is the Adobe Fonts web page wherein you can just browse for all these fonts and whatever your requirement is, you can search for the fonts over here. There are different options. You can search with the image. Uh, you will find all the fonts which are available with Adobe and based on your search, uh, whenever you click on activate font, these fonts will be activated on all the Creative Cloud applications which are installed on your computer. So it's very simple. You just have to click on activate and this font will be available on all the uh, applications what are there uh, on your Creative Cloud subscription. But now uh, what, what if you have purchased a font or uh, the font is not available with Adobe and you have a license of that font available with you. So, and you want that particular font to be installed for all the, all the users and it's not feasible for you to go to every machine to install that particular font. So rather what you can do is uh, there is one more plan uh, in Adobe which says custom fonts and custom fonts, uh, there will be a profile like this, custom fonts, product profile, and this will be the uh, profile that has been created for custom fonts and it has two users as of now. So if we click on custom fonts profile, uh, you will see these users and you will see the permissions as well applied to this custom fonts. So as an admin, you need to go to custom fonts and make sure you add yourself as an admin to these custom fonts so you have uh, the full visibility. So I've added myself as an admin over here. Now, if I go to uh, add and manage fonts, it will take me to the, uh, to the web page where I can upload the fonts. I need to select my organization and click on get started. So these all fonts are already added uh, on this particular custom fonts product, what we have. And if I click on add more, I can go to select files and I can select all these uh, fonts what I have and I want these fonts to be available for all the users. Mm -hmm. So I click on open. Now uh, it will give me uh, all these fonts and it will ask me to accept the terms that I have a valid license for these fonts and I am allowing the permission to use these fonts with Adobe applications. So I click on allow for those things and I click on add. Now these, the fonts will be processing on uh, this particular profile, the custom font which is available on this console. And now after processing, these fonts will be added uh, over here. So this will be uh, the admin uh, role, like he has to do all these things uh, to add and remove fonts from the custom profile list. So one of these font has failed, so that does not matter. And even if you want to remove some of the fonts, you just have to click on this and remove the font. Now, as an admin, uh, your role is to add these fonts. Now, if we go back to the custom fonts profile, and if we go to this particular profile, which we have created, if we click on that, we need to go to permissions over here. And in permissions, you will see all the fonts which are which we have added. So out of these, I have already given permission to some of the fonts. So if you do not give permission to these fonts, then these fonts will not be available for the users. So you have to make sure that you give permission to these fonts. So I click on this first, first particular this, chasing this. If I click on auto activate include all, so means it will include all the fonts uh, which are there in this. I go to this one, I include this as well. Before the rain, I include this. Always for over, I include this. Before the rain demo, I include this. So now these fonts I have already added and only Christian uh, Christmas Classica I have not added just to give you an overview like what will happen if I do not add permissions uh, to these fonts. So now I think uh, my work is done and I have given permission for all these fonts. I click on save. So these fonts should be available for the users who are added to this particular profile. So these users. So now I'll show you the experience, how the admin will see these fonts. So if I go over here in my uh, Creative Cloud desktop application, I if I go to add fonts to the Creative Cloud, I will see all these fonts uh, available over here. So this is before rain, before rain, chasing embers, railing, always forever. So all these fonts are available and you, you do not see Christmas, uh, the font which we did not give any permission. So that font is not available over here. So this will be the end use uh, admin uh, view when they go to the 
Creative Cloud Desktop application. And if you try to open any Adobe application, like for example, I open Illustrator and I can see like uh, the fonts are available. These are fonts are available, Rising, Chasing Embers and Chasing Embers Before the Rain. Mm -hmm. I can go back to Illustrator. I can search for these fonts. So I can see Chasing Embers. I can see Before the Rain. So now this will be, I have uh, logged in as an administrator right now on these applications. So let's uh, log in as an end user who do not have permissions to add these fonts. Uh, so all right, so now uh, I have logged in with uh, a test user, which uh, has the custom fonts uh, profile associated with the email address, but uh, that user does not have any Adobe application or subscription. So that's why I can see like the trial has already been expired. So now uh, if I go to the fonts uh, over here, I may not be able to see the custom fonts because a user may not have permissions to add some specific fonts. So I just go ahead and open any Adobe application. So for now, I only have in copy as a trial. I just go ahead and start in copy as a trial. So in copy is trying to load right now. And the end user experience should be, uh, he should be able to use and see all these fonts. All these fonts, uh, which I have added to the custom fonts list are available for this user as well. So whatever users I will add over here, he will have access to that particular font. And now if I go to permissions over here and I choose the permission for Christmas, I add this Christmas as well in the list. And now if I go over here, so you can see Christmas Classic is also available for this user. So why these profiles are important? So in case you do not want to give permission for all the fonts to every user, you can create custom profiles. You can create a new profile as well. Like uh, I can create a test profile. And in this test profile, you do not want to give permission to all the fonts. I just want a few of the fonts that should uh, that the end user should see. So I can only give permission to those fonts. If I go to permissions tab now, I can see like all of them are zero right now. I just wanted to give them like uh, only for Christmas and fill up home. So if I click on save, so any user who is added, who will be added to this test profile, he will only be able to see these two fonts. He will not be able to see any other fonts uh, in the Creative Cloud applications. So hope this makes sense and uh, you're able to understand how the custom fonts work.